Hey guys, it's Mariah. Thanks so much for tuning in again to my channel. Today I am going to be unboxing the January Fairy Loot box for you guys. I am so excited to be opening this box. I got a notification at work today that it had been delivered and then when I got home I had a whole bunch of stuff I had to do before I could sit down and open it. Um, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive right in. So this is my first fairy loot box. I am super excited to see what is inside and to see if I enjoy it. Um, I think this box is going to be so good. I think I know what the book is, so I'm really, really excited for it. Um, so let's just go ahead and dive in. Um, that's what it looks like without tipping literally everything out. And of course we have the purple worms and my cat is in here so I'm sure she's going to go crazy over this. But here is the little card um, with everything that is in the box listed on the back of it. I'm not going to look at that because I don't want to be spoiled. But this card is just so gorgeous. I love everything about it. And the theme is mystery and mischief. So let's see what we have. Okay. So the first thing I see is this Game of Thrones um, pop vinyl figure. And it looks like it's a mystery. So let's go ahead and open it up and see which one we got. I've never gotten one of these before, so I'm interested to see what it is. I'm not a huge fan of Game of Thrones. I haven't read the books. Um, I've seen a few of the episodes of the show, but I'm definitely not a diehard fan. Okay, and we got this guy. And like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the show, so I'm not even completely sure which one he is. I think I know who it's supposed to be. Let's see if it tells us anything. It does not tell the name of the characters. It just shows the characters. So I will have to do some more digging to find out exactly which one I got. And I know you guys are probably screaming at me because I know there's so many Game of Thrones fans out there, but I'm just not exactly sure which one I got. But either way, it's really cute and I'm sure if you love Game of Thrones, no matter which one you get, you're going to be happy. So one thing down. The next thing I see is a candle and it says, come back yesterday. That's the name of it, and it is from Rocky Candles. Um, and it says, Cocoa Berries and Musk is what it's supposed to smell like. And it definitely, it definitely does smell like that. You can definitely smell the chocolate and the berries. So, the scent description is right on. Um, and I'm assuming this might have something to do with the book that's in the box. Um, this title doesn't ring any bells off the top of my head. So let's see what else we have. So the next thing that we have is a little bookmark and it is from Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland and it is like super sturdy. So I really appreciate that. And on one side it says, we're all mad here with beautiful illustrations. It's just so pretty. And then the other side says, imagination is the only weapon in the war against reality. So those are both um, really great quotes and the bookmark is just absolutely gorgeous. And like I said again, it is so sturdy so it is not going to bend. So I really like this. Next we have this cute little thing um, in this adorable wrapping. I don't even want to open it. It's so pretty. 
but it is jewelry. Um, it looks like the shop is called O Panda Eyes, and it says handmade jewelry. So let's see what we got here. This is really cute. It has a little tag on it. Um, it's a necklace and it has a little tag that says admit one O Panda Eyes Fairy Loot. So that is just such a cute little touch. Um, the clasp has this gorgeous, it's like a heart. I don't know if you can see that, but that's absolutely gorgeous. My cat is desperate for this piece of jewelry. Um, and it has a little rose for the decoration for the actual necklace. And she's going away now. Okay, so this necklace is absolutely gorgeous. I really, really like it. And the packaging was just so cute. The next thing I see is a little promotional um, piece of paper. It's from the Jacoby series from William Ritter. So it looks like the fourth book is coming out September of this year called The Dire King. And I have not actually read um, any of the Jacoby series books yet. However, it is on my TBR. Um, it looks really interesting. So I'm definitely interested. You know, I'm definitely going to start reading these and see what they are like. Um, and it's a good thing that the fourth one's coming out in September because if I do start reading them, then I won't have to wait long. So that is that side. And then the other side is just a little promotional for um, the first book, the first Jacoby book. And again, my cat is just, I love her so much, but she's in the way. And now she's biting me. So, come on, Kit Kat. Okay, say hi to the camera. Hello. Now go away. Okay. The next thing is a little, um, it's from Passenger, and the front of it um, says, We are all of us on our own journeys, and it has the book cover from Passenger. And then the back cover says, The most crucial point of life. It wasn't meant to be lived for the past or even the future, but for each present moment. And it has the cover for Wayfarer. And it is just a little notebook that you can write stuff in. So that's really cute. I am currently reading Wayfarer, um, and it is so good. So this is really cute to have. I really like this. Okay, so the next thing I'm pulling out, it looks like a little book. Um, it says, How to Think Like Sherlock. Improve Your Powers of Observation, Memory, and Deduction by Daniel Smith. Not really sure what this is. Let's take a look. This book will boost your powers of observation, memory, deduction, and reasoning using the tricks and techniques of the world's most famous detective. It is packed full of case studies, tests, and examples from the original novels. Topics covered include mind palaces, nonverbal tells, lie detection, intuition, etc., etc. So, it looks like it's just like little um, brain activities to get you to think more critically based on Sherlock Holmes stories. So that could be really interesting. And the back says, um, you see, but you do not observe. So I guess this book is supposed to increase your powers of observation. So that's cool because you don't usually get two books in a monthly book box. So that is really neat that they would include this. The next thing I see looks like some sort of tote bag. I think it's going to be a tote bag. No! 
Oh my gosh. Is it? It's a pillowcase. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. I absolutely love this. This is so amazing. It's like a denim type material um, pillowcase and it's pretty big. And it says the finest of pleasures are always the unexpected ones. And it has a little circus tent at the top. And since I think I know what the book is going to be, I think this is probably a quote from the book. And this is just so adorable. I absolutely love it. And it's really high quality. And like I said, um, it's pretty big and it has a little zipper on the bottom so that you can put in your pillow insert. This is so cool. I do not have any like bookish pillows at all. So this is going to be really neat and I will definitely be, definitely be putting this in my home. I really, really like it. And now we have finally come to the book. And it obviously, of course, comes in the little fairy loot um, book bag that they put it in, their little pouch. So let's see what we got. There's a few little things in here. And I can already feel it has one of those really nice, soft um, book covers that hardbacks sometimes have. So many little pieces of paper in here. Okay, let's see what we have. So the first thing I see is it looks like with the book you get a little reading buddy, which is so cool. And um, you can post a photo, um, you know, of, of your book or anything like that with this hashtag that they gave me. And someone out there also should have this hashtag, and if they're doing it, then we can meet up and we'll be little reading buddies. Um, we got a signed book plate by the author, which is always great to have. We also got this little bookmark, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, the book is Caraval, so this is to go along with the book. And the front of it says, Welcome to Caraval, with these gorgeous illustrations. And then the back of it says, remember, it's only a game with a clock face illustration. This is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. And then we got this little print as well. Um, it's only on one side and it says, remember, it's only a game with another beautiful illustration. And we also got a letter from the author, Stephanie Garber. Um, about the book, so I can't wait to read that. And on the back, it actually has the map of Caraval. That is so cool. Like, look how intricate that is. That's so beautiful. I love that. And, of course, we got the Fairy Scoop little newsletter that they send out every month. And now we have come to the book and it is the beautiful UK edition. It is so gorgeous guys. I cannot wait to start reading this. But here is the front cover. It is so shiny and like I said it's in that soft um, hardback cover that they make sometimes. The spine is so gorgeous. Look at that two-tone spine. And then the back is white with a quote. And it says Whatever you've heard about Caraval, it doesn't compare to the reality. It's more than just a game or a performance. It's the closest you'll ever find to magic in this world. And I have heard that every single UK edition of the hardcover book of Caraval has a different illustration on the front cover. So I'm going to go ahead and open mine up and see which one I got. And I got this beautiful dress illustration. It's like on a hanger and it has like a heart neckline and then it descends into all these beautiful spirals and this is all shiny as well. So that is the one that I got. I'd love to see which ones you got. So definitely post pictures of, you know, the one you got because all of them are different. There's four different um, 
illustrations that you can get depending which one you got. So I am just so happy with everything in this box guys. Um, the book especially in case you don't know what Caraval is about. Um, if you haven't seen it around at all. It's basically this story about two sisters and this magical carnival that goes around the world and um, they really want to go to this carnival and it ends up the one sister actually ends up being sort of like the key player in this carnival and everyone sort of plays along. It's like a real life game that is happening. And then her other sister has to figure out what is going on in order to save her and to like win this game. So it sounds really interesting. I've read um, like the first couple chapters. I got a sample of the first couple chapters and it was really good. So I can't wait to keep reading this and see how it goes. I know that people who have been lucky enough to get an ARC absolutely loved it. They couldn't say enough good things about it. So I am so excited to see what happens in this book. And it is just so gorgeous. Just look at that again. So pretty. Absolutely love this. Let's go ahead and look at the card and see what some of the shops were that, uh, you know, incorporated into this box. So the pillowcase, the, uh, this is actually from the Night Circus. Oh my gosh, I should have known that. I love that book as well. So that is really cool. I have read the book, but it's just been quite a while since I did read it. So that is really neat. That one is from the Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. And it was designed by Risa Rodil. And then the Come Back Yesterday candle is themed after the book of the month. So this one is themed after Caraval. And um, of course, Meraki is the provider for that. And then they're saying that the rose necklace that we got will understand the significance of it after we read the book. So I'm just so excited to read the book and to see what happens. Um, I just love everything that we got this month. Oh guys, I'm kind of disappointed looking at my card. It looks like I didn't get one of the items. It says that for a bonus item we should have gotten an Alchemist of Loom bookmark. And I didn't get that. Um, so, oh well. But. Overall, I really loved this box. Um, I really loved everything that was in it. I'm really happy with it all. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my unboxing. Um, you know, I had a lot of fun doing it for you guys. And like I said, I'm so excited for the book this month. And I really like everything we got in the box, even though I didn't get my other bookmark. But that is okay. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!